Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. I'm not really sure. I think today I'll try to play Central Fall Rook Strategy. Good luck. In general, you're not supposed to pick your strategy before seeing what your opponent's doing, but um, at an amateur level, you can get away with it sometimes. Okay. We seem to be matched with an opponent who's doing a similar strategy. Let me ask to what extent he intends to castle this direction. Because if he's committing super hard to a particular shape, then I should be prepared for whatever that shape is. Um, it's not good that this is a symmetric position because I am straight up down a tempo, but he's playing the same thing I play. I promise I'm not doing this to be spiteful. Uh, nope. Hmm. See, that's the typical move in this opening. It's not a bad one. Um... Although it might not be suited well against what I'm doing. So maybe it is bad after all. Um, Alright, if I encourage a bishop exchange, how much trouble am I in? Let's find out. So far, not a lot. In the future, who knows? Um, okay, I am tempted by this. This looks too interesting. We're going to do it. So I get to attack toward the king. I get to apply pressure over here. Um, didn't expect that, but I certainly should have expected that. All right. First game in the morning. <laughs> I thought I was going to push the center pawn. In retrospect, that's not so smart here. Um... All right, let's play this up. Just to make things extra weird. What's our proverb? Avoid a sitting king. Oh, of course, my alarm clock goes off. I'll be right back. You think by now... I'd have learned to switch off the alarm clock before recording the games. Eventually I'll get the hang of it. Yeah, I was thinking though, if I'd moved up the silver, in this case they could have done this bishop drop after we exchange. And maybe I could have dealt with that somehow. I just couldn't figure out um, how to deal with it. So I'm trying to prevent a... Uh, oh... Well, <laughs> I'm trying to prevent them from using a bishop effectively. But they are now using a bishop effectively. Alrighty then. Good talk. Um... Well, if I exchange off the rook, this gets extremely messy. Um, the other thing I've been trying to avoid here... Wait, do I drop back the rook or drop it up? 
If I move it Not back, it's safe, but... Oh, I don't know. I could move it over, also. Um... Alright, they went upon. I just have to suck it up and acknowledge that I've lost a pawn. But otherwise, my position's not yet atrocious. And perhaps it's better that I have my bishop in hand and they don't. This wasn't at all the... Well, I don't know what situation I was aiming for from the beginning. But a sane person wouldn't have aimed for this, I guess. Um... All right, so we'll see if we can get a pawn in hand, I guess. So we've already given away one pawn. What's another? Um, oh, okay, in that sideline, the bishop would get trapped. Yep, yeah, it would have been good to see that. All right, so here I can't trap their bishop or horse um oh separately this pawn here is hanging now i didn't think it would be hanging in this line which is why i went and selected this but it's hanging well shit all right we're gonna defend that splitting up my castle to do this It's going to be a difficult game. I'm down two pawns without a plan. Although I do have pressure on their king. So that's not nothing. But yuck. Um, I wanted to attack over here. Oh, I was going to push this up. Oh, I can. It's Go not so effective, but it's better than nothing. So if I push this and then advance on the edge, something can happen. If I retreat, they exchange in the center and drop another pawn, so retreating seems even less wise than proceeding. I can move sideways. It's usually not possible here, but um, things being what they are, I don't want my gold to be targeted by a pawn drop, so we're going to move this sideways. This prevents the knight from instantly promoting on me. This also sets up a threat of capturing the knight. So our opponent's going to play very aggressively now. Um, I'm not ready for it, but let's pretend I am. So they push, I push, they take, I take, they promote, and I don't know. Well, I'm threatening to take that next. The horse belongs near the king, not near my king. So this knight advanced too much. Um, yeah, having the bishop in hand has its advantages, doesn't it? So they're all balled up defending against my bishop drop, but, um, that takes time away from whatever it is they could be doing here. All right. 
They could promote and I could take a horse. They could attack my rook. I didn't see that until just now. How do I panic or otherwise react? So if I move, they promote. If I drop, they promote. Takes, takes, takes. Rook takes. I don't have any epic tactic there. Um. Hmm. So they sacrificed a knight to get this position. It's an okay position, I think. Um. Okay, get the rook out of this attack. And then I don't really want to exchange here. Um, so this is what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, my rook's hanging once more, so they get another tempo. Um, so I can defend my rook, and then they're going to do another fork. And do I have some spectacular tactic here? Not that I see. This would be a good time to have an amazing tactic. Uh, I don't see one. I'm just going to continue running. So they get their knight back. That's a fork. Let's take the token. Mm -hmm. Something. All right, I'll defend my gold. My gold that has no business being where it's at. And then they can take time and move the rook back and defend against my thing. Hi. Uh, why don't I have an amazing tactic here? I should have something. It's because all my pieces are floating, so every time they attack one of them I have to defend. It makes it very difficult for me to make progress when I'm losing every other move. Um... Okay, let's try somehow to move forward. Uh, maybe... No, if I'd gone here, they had a knight fork. I saw that like three times here. So it's not a fork this time. It's just an attack. It's Yeehaw. still a hassle, but... Uh, mm. and they're wanting me to retreat so they can drop a pawn and hit my bishop again. So I'm not retreating. Let's, step, let's attack here. Um, that's clever. Alright, we'll cut off the horse. Even though that really robs my bishop of some freedom, but... Ah, oh, goodness. Alright, we'll start rebuilding my castle. Since they're so insistent. This doesn't do anything other than make me feel good. So I've got a pawn in hand. I can bring my rook back onto this file at my own risk. Um, mm-hmm. 
What a sketchy position. My bishop is so constrained here. I guess it could go back and then hit this way. I don't see any other way forward. If I try to push on this edge, things backfire in a hurry. Um. Ippun. Oh, I saw that. I thought this wouldn't happen, though, because, like, so many tactics result from this. Um, that wasn't smart. Maybe it was. Hmm. I am bereft of ideas, so we're going to lash out here. I recognize that loses a knight, but I just don't know what to do. Well, it should have lost a knight. Um. Our opponent is suspicious of that. <sighs> That's not right. Maybe it is. Maybe this is just a bad position. Lashing out, because we have no time. Jubio. Thanks for the game. I can't win this. I don't deserve to win it, but also I can't. And, yeah. Alright. Well, that was entertaining. Let's play another. Good luck. Uh, let's not do that here. Let's do this. And then... I don't know where we're at. Uh, let's close that line, because I'm paranoid. And now I've got a bad position. Oh, but our opponent is hard committed to playing fourth follow up strategy, which is more than a bit strange. It's just as strange as what I'm doing. Um, Alright, so... 
What in the world am I going to do next? Oh, really? That's something. All right, let's activate my rook. Back we go. Okay. Sure. I guess I'm giving them what they want, which is in principle a pretty bad idea. And probably in practice it's going to be bad too. But I got a tempo to hit this, so at least there's going to be some fun tactics. Um, oh, I should have ex well, if I'd exchanged, it would have been a different position. Um, hmm. Well, I am severely confused by my own nonsense. Um, my rook is where it does not belong to be. Um, they're activating both of their pieces with gain of time. So there's a lot of problems here. Um, and... Wait, so this is a problem too, though, right? Let's hit this then. Yeah. Okay, so this time they have a bishop drop forking my knight and my rook. So... I guess I'm getting the bishop pair. I don't know. Oh, I have to do something about this threat. I can't just counterattack all day. I was considering a bishop drop here. They take my knight, I take here. Um, but that's not even forced. Nanafun. Oh, so now I'm dropping my silver, which a rook drop can win one of two different ways. Uh, but I was so excited by the notion of hitting this gold general with my knight. Um, Alright, we have to take back here. At least I don't think taking this silver was worth it, but maybe I'm just really, really, really bad at tactics. The minute a tactic appears, I just space out and pretend that if I keep attacking stuff enough, things are going to fall. And usually it works, but some opponents don't fall for it. Um,
So this is another target. And for a second there, I thought I'd be able to take here and then easily take that next. It's not quite trivial. Um, taking the knight and lance doesn't look terrible. Um, other things I'm coming up with here generally hang pieces. Alright, so you can collect my silver and knight and lance while I'm farming these, but also I have a knight drop that can, I may, might be able to use effectively toward breaking this castle somehow. Maybe. Okay. That's something. That's odd. Go home. <sighs> what do I do? So threatening this rook takes silver, and then this other rook takes my lance. Um, this candidate move came to mind. So that way they aren't going to be able to take all of the generals that build up my castle. Like, if they take the silver, then they can't sack for this. Okay, that's weird. Um, that makes some sense. It's not so crazy. So this was their plan. Uh, they... I think want to save this gold general or this lance or something like that. The dragon doesn't belong back in this camp. A rook is a great defensive piece. A dragon, eh, it's okay as a defensive piece. Um, but its main purpose in this game is to attack, not to defend. So... Yeah, look what happens when you put your dragon in defense mode. They block their dragon. Well, I'm confused. Something. There's a lot to think about.
2分1分30秒 Yeah, I'm just thinking indefinitely.、Um, it's not helping much. Yeah, maybe Blitz isn't my cup of tea. That's a possibility. I have other thoughts, but I'll wait until after our little set of games to, to share. Boom. I thought I could drop it here, despite multiple times seeing that that would be Nifu. I still persisted in imagining that could be possible.、Um. Gold general there would have won. Silver general, not so much. I dropped the bad piece. That's annoying. No, gold general there doesn't win either. I'm not winning this. I don't have enough attackers. If I dropped the gold, they would probably would have taken it and then dropped a gold to defend. Here, who knows if they'll defend? Or if they're just going to come up with something else. The problem here is if they do nothing, like if they just move the dragon to the side, I don't have an attack. 
so that's a problem. And that's why I should not have sacked my rook or dragon. This just doesn't lead anywhere. Um, well, I'm in check. Helps to know when you're in check. Fuck, they can drop a gold bolt. They drop a gold. I don't. Oh, that's not a gold. Do you want my silver? It's yours if you want it so much. Uh, They've got a rook to drop. It is modestly embarrassing losing to an attack like this. But I've been there. I've had games where I don't understand how to checkmate. So I just take all the pieces. Um, I think our opponent's beyond that phase. But might not be willing to admit that. That's not right. I can't punish these silly plays if I don't play good moves. Yeah, thanks for the game. I can't checkmate this in one second. Yeah. There's things to learn. That's for sure. Thanks for the game. Yeah. I had no right to win that. They were showing off at the end. Or just extremely confused. Good luck. I think I'm falling into an opening trap with a bishop drop here. I... I don't know. Maybe I am. I think I am. That's not what I was thinking about. Um, How serious is this pawn advance threat? I don't know. Whoa, okay.
Things are about to get a whole lot sharper here. So they're going to push this. Uh, I'm going to say that it's not as important as they say it is. Um... So first of all, this bishop is trapped. If I move the knight, the knight's not defending. If I move the king, they can push the center pawn and things get crazy. So I'm going to move the knight. The knight's no longer defending my king. Um, so just don't give them... Lots of pieces at this position. And I'll be fine. Just need to build a castle and then take the bishop. Um, if I drop a lance here, I can take the silver, then I could take the knight, then I could take the gold. Strategic considerations be damned, that looks really nice. If I drop the lance, they move the sil no, they move the knight up. We exchange knight. Yeah, okay, this is the position where I don't want to exchange. Taking the bishop though could be nice. But the bishop's quite sad where it is. Um and has no escape, so why should I rush to take it? Um Nanafun. Mm. Okay, we're going to defend my king this way. Okay, I thought they might offer this pawn. I didn't have an opinion about whether the sack is good or bad. Um, but now I could drop a pawn here. Hmm. Like, if I just take this, they move a general up and it's a mess. If I counterattack, um, it's not so clear. Oh, but either way, this pawn's hanging. I knew that. Uh, in my quest for clarity, I got a position that's no fun. Um... What the heck? Why did I want this? I saw myself having such a nice attack here, and it's just not true. Alright, let's confine the bishop once more. So, well, I can't exactly win this bishop. At least I don't see how. Um, and I misread this really simple combination here. Ah, I also missed that. Um... All right, let's use our silver. I know this hangs the pawn. I think it's fine. So now I'm, my silver is useful now that it's not sitting in a corner. Oh, check that out. That's a fork. That's me giving up my rook because I can't read. Um. All right, whatever. I asked for this, I might as well go through on it. Oh, they get to take this too. Alright, fine. 
Ähm So I get this right in front of their king. Thanks for the game. All right. Well, yeah, that was a series of three games. I uh, hope we enjoyed this. Uh, Thankfully, I am an amateur player, so my career is not on the line here. Um, yeah, so hopefully those are kind of fun. Uh, yes, yeah. I have been having more and more games like that recently. I have plans. We'll, we will make progress. Uh, fear not. Just be patient. Thanks for watching.